I have a soft spot in my heart for white chicken chili, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But for now, all you need to know is the Instant Pot has taken white chicken chili from an old time favorite to a super quick and easy weeknight meal that you can put out any day of the week. And if you're looking for quick and easy pressure cooker recipes, then you have definitely found the right channel. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I do come out with new videos every week and that way you will be notified. Welcome back to The Spicy Apron Cooking Show. My name is Heather and I'm the author of the spicyapron.com blog. And I am also the author of two authorized Instant Pot cookbooks. I'll put links to those below. Today, I'm going to show you one of my very, very favorite recipes, Instant Pot white chicken chili. One of the best things about pressure cookers is that you can do everything in one pot and it's so easy and it's so easy to clean. So we're gonna start by sauteing some stuff in your pot. Please go ahead and turn it on saute and make sure it reads hot. That means it's at its maximum saute temperature while we do the saute. Now this white chicken chili is really, really easy. Uh, you can start with either olive oil or butter. The full recipe is at thespiceapron.com. There is a link to that below. Now shallots, love shallots. It really adds a very, very nice flavor to this chili. It's not overwhelming. Uh, one of my favorite things, shallots. So add some shallots and you wanna saute the shallots for a couple of minutes before we add the garlic. You don't wanna saute the garlic too long because it'll burn. So go ahead and put in your shallots for a couple of minutes. All right, once your shallots have been going for a couple of minutes, add some minced jalapeno. Now, jalapeno is one of those things. Some people like it really spicy and some people do not. I am assuming you know your own personal preference. If you do not want it very spicy, then go ahead and take all the seeds out and the membranes out. If you like a little heat, then leave those in. Now that those have been sauteing for a couple of minutes, Time to add our garlic. You only want to saute this for about a minute so it does not burn. Now this white chicken chili recipe is about as close to a dump and done recipe as you get. There's a little bit of saute at the beginning. There's a little bit at the end to make it nice and thick, but everything else we're just gonna put in. We're gonna shred up some chicken and then you'll be done. Okay, now that your veggies have been sauteing a little bit, it is time to deglaze the bottom of the pot, super important. Do not skip this step. Just put about a half a cup of liquid in and make sure you scrape the bottom of that pot so there are no bits left on the bottom. You do not want it to burn and you do not want it to fail to come to pressure. So please do not omit that step, it's super important. Once it's deglazed, go ahead and add the rest of the liquid. Okay, it would not be chicken chili without chilies. So I have a couple of four ounce cans of diced green chilies. Uh, I suppose you could use one eight ounce can instead of two four ounce cans. Look how smart I am with that. I don't know why I can only seem to find four ounce cans. So dump those in and then I've got a couple of cans of cannelloni beans. You can also use white northern. You can use any kind of bean you want. And by the way, I have this video up here about how to pressure cook beans from dry to done. Uh, in less than an hour. I almost always make my beans from scratch that way, but today I happen to have these two cans in the pantry, so I am going to go ahead and use them up. But in all honesty, I really do prefer to use the ones that I make from dry using the pressure cooker. Okay, now you're going to add your spices. I've got some cumin, of course, some chili powder and some coriander to give it that nice chili flavor. Now time to add, of course, some fresh cracked pepper. Uh, you can do this at the end if you want as you're tasting it before you eat it or do it now and at the end like I do. And a big old pinch of salt for good measure. Okay, mix that all together. And one more time, make sure to scrape the bottom. You do not want anything stuck to the bottom of the pot. I'd like to use a flat edge wooden spatula to do that. Next up is the chicken. Now I use boneless skinless chicken thighs. Uh, you can use chicken tenders, you can use boneless, skinless breast. By the way, I always prefer thighs, but which do you prefer? Put a comment below, thighs or breasts. And by the way, last time I asked this question, it was overwhelming that the answers were thighs. So you breast guys, you gotta get in there. Put your comment below, okay? That is about one and a half to two pounds of chicken. You just dump it in, 
You pressure cook for seven minutes. Once that's done, go ahead and do a quick release. We're gonna pull the chicken out and shred it and then finish off the chili to make it nice and thick. Here's a little tip for those of you who don't know it yet. Did you know that on most pressure cooker models, this little slot can go into the handle and you can keep your lid out of your way that way. So just in case you didn't know. All right, lock that baby down, cancel the saute function, put it on pressure cook on high for seven minutes, and then we're gonna thicken it up a bit. Okay, seven minutes, quick release, so the pressure is out. Let's check it out and shred up that chicken. Now I am gonna shred this chicken with a couple of forks, but I've got a super secret way to do it if you cooked your chicken in the Instant Pot first, which you can do, pre-cook the chicken, shred it up, and then just toss in it at the end. Recipe will be just as good. But check out that video with my secret of the quickest way in the world to shred chicken. Okay, two things. One, when I dumped in the beans earlier, I forgot to tell you there was also corn in there. It is white chicken chili, and that should always have corn. But question for you guys, I cannot seem to find canned white corn anymore. I used to see it all the time and now I don't. So if you know where I can find it, let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, we wanna thicken this chili up, um, turn your pot back onto saute. Here's my shredded chicken. I left it in nice big chunks. You can shred it as much as you want. And then we're gonna thicken it up. Now, while we're thickening it up, I'm going to tell you why I have a soft spot in my heart for white chicken chili. My sister puts on the most amazing Halloween parties. I mean, amazing. You just can't even believe it. Anyway, amazing. And one year uh, to thicken it, let's add one cup of cream, heavy cream. So one year she had this massive Halloween party and she asked if I would make white chicken chili for it. She had 400 people at this party. So yes, I did make white chicken chili for 400 people. You would think I'd be sick of it by now, but I'm not, I still love it. And no, I did not do it in my Instant Pot because, well, you know, I would need a heck of a lot of Instant Pots. So that is why I love ch white chicken chili. It was a huge hit. The only thing better there was her amazing decorations that she does for Halloween. All right, now I've added the cream and it's nice and creamy, but we still want to thicken it up a little bit. I use a slurry of cornstarch and water. You can use potato flakes. You can also use flour if you would prefer. And you just mix it in and you're gonna simmer it. I like to pull a little bit of that juice back in there to make sure you get all of the thickener. And we have it on saute, so it'll get nice and thick. You wanna bring it back to a simmer and then simmer it until it is at the texture you like. And like everything in pressure cookers, obviously it takes liquid to bring things to pressure. This is a chili, it's got a lot of liquid, but in any Instant Pot recipe or pressure cooker recipe that you make, you can always thicken it up at the end by using this method. Put it on saute, put a slurry in, and thicken it up. All right, guys, it has been sauteing for a couple of minutes now, and look at how amazing, like I said, big chunks of chicken. This white chicken chili is, it is so perfect for fall or winter, or frankly, even in the summer, because that addition of corn. So you just scoop it up, it's got everything you need. It's got the chili, it's got the beans, it's got the chicken. So when you serve it, make sure you put out your favorite toppings. I love to top it with a little bit of cilantro. Look at how nice and pretty that looks. Um, and sour cream and cheese are always a big hit. Now it's time to taste it and hope I don't burn myself. Oh. It is exactly like I remembered and I can't believe I made it for 400 people. Anyway, go ahead and give this white chicken chili a try. If you liked this recipe, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time on the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. Happy cooking and happy eating.